good cold morning to y'all here out there in YouTube land that will be watching this video later today at some point in time. Um, it's the old soldier coming at you from Robinson County, North Carolina, uh, where it is a cold, crisp 27 degrees outside. Um, yeah, it's cold. It's not cool, it's not chilly, it's cold. Period.com. End of discussion. Uh, kind of cold. <laughs> yeah, the temperature really started dipping last night about 9 o'clock. Uh, I think the high today is only projected to be about 41 here. Uh, with lows going back below freezing tonight. So. It's going to be cold for, through the weekend, they said, too. I think it's supposed to warm up some next week. I don't know how much. But anywho, anyhow, anyway. But somebody reported up in Fedville area that they had a, a couple flurries spit. Um, it's certainly cold enough for it to snow. But it is winter time. Or some people still say this is autumn and fall, which technically they're right. I don't know, it seemed like when I was a kid, November got cold. October was chilly. November was cold. December was cold. January and February were cold. March, it would start to warm up a little bit. And by April, it was fairly warm. And in May, you know. The earth transitions to its own cycles and things. So for all you out there believe in global warming, I beg to differ. But that's another story for another time, for another argument, for another debate. What I want to talk about, Coda Boy 32 did a video on it. Caught a couple new snippets on it. But apparently, the Supreme Court has upheld uh, the decision that will allow the families of Sandy Hook to sue Remington, the rifle manufacturer, or the gun manufacturer. Now, folks, I'm not against due process of law. I'm absolutely 100% for due process of law. However, we're going to allow people to sue gun manufacturers because somebody chose to use a gun as an instrument of death. Then let's start suing the automotive industry. Let's just sue, matter of fact, you know what? Let's go sue Corningware for their flatware for all the people being killed by butcher knives. Hey, why don't we sue chicken producers for all the people choked on chicken bones? Oh, I got another one. Um, let's sue pencil manufacturers. For all the people that have really been stabbed and poked with pencils. There's a good one. Oh, let's see. What else can we sue? We're so sue happy that we want to hold everybody accountable except the person that did the deed. You know, it would be a different story if Remington somewhat had a culpable measure of responsibility in what happened there. But they didn't. If you remember, if you go back, the boy stole the guns. Or at least that's what we reported. Um, I'm still a firm believer there was more than one shooter at Sandy Hook. But supposedly stole the guns that he used to commit the murders with. How's Remington responsible for that? Love to hear from somebody say why Remington's responsible. Um, you know, years ago, tobacco, big tobacco was sued. Um, but see, it was discovered they were putting additives in the nicotine to make it more physically craving. Something along those lines. That I kind of get. 
because it's deceptive advertising. But, you know, gun manufacturers can't advertise on TV or radio. They're limited really to print media and I guess internet media now. It's not like that they said everybody needs to have one of these whatevers and, and, and this, that, and the other. Again, everything, you know, everybody's completely ignoring the fact that the shooter stole the weapons. Everybody's ignoring the fact that the mother knew the boy had mental issues. Now, I'm not, I'm not fault the mother. Maybe she did take all the appropriate action that she could. It's hard to say this day and age. I'm not going to judge her. What I'm getting at is we're going to allow people to sue a gun manufacturer because someone chose to use that as an instrument to commit a crime. Well, let's go back and allow people to sue automotive manufacturers for the same purpose. Let's let people go back and sue uh, the baseball bat industry for the number of people, and hammers, hammers, don't forget hammers, for the number of people who are they're bludgeoned to death every year. Okay? Let's sue potato manufacturers for the potato guns that people make and shoot to cause harm. Even though you can find one of those in a lot of science experiment catalogs. My point being is that this is ridiculous that a gun manufacturer being held accountable for the actions of an individual, all because they are a gun manufacturer. And the fact that the Supreme Court is allowing this to go through tells me their stance on gun control. Because when this thing goes to trial, which it probably will, I'm not going to say it probably will, Remington might opt to settle out of court to save their assets. Remington was already starting to struggle just with the threat of a lawsuit. The other issue here is that Remington could fold over this lawsuit depending on how it goes. Considering the fact that they're going to be judged in the court of public opinion more, more than the court of law. I'm afraid that trying to get this thing adjusted here. That once this thing starts to go to trial, if it goes to trial, it's going to be a high vis case, and you're going to have every left wing loom back reporter out there reporting on it, misdoing information intentionally. That's the other thing. Intentionally, you know, you're probably going to hear terms like 30 round clips. And, and 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 military style rifle and and, and it even had a bayonet lug on it and uh, uh, you know it's got a thermal optic diopter scaled uh, radioactive resistors telescope sometimes I think the news media just makes up crap when they don't understand something um, they go on the internet and, and you know, the first thing they find this is the Bugs Bunny Rascally Rabbit getaway car. But you can stop them with your Elmer Fudd double barrel 12 gauge Glockazine rifle. Yeah. It just amazes me that the, the integrity of journalism in this nation has fell to an all time low. Yes. Journalism in the United States, I'm afraid, my friends, is dead. True journalism. Hate him or love him, Walter Cronkite used to call it right down the middle. Man, 
and add integrity. But this all falls into a left-leaning plot, I believe. Um, if you really think about it, you've got conservative speakers across the nation that are being shouted out of venues that they've been booked to speak at, where people want to hear them talk. They're being denied their right of free speech, not by the law, but by the people. And it's unfair to the people that want to hear what they say. In case of Point Turning Point USA, they, they catch a lot of controversy where they go, all because really they, they just they tell the truth. And they present fact over feeling. this soon that gun manufacturer not going to bring their dead back my, my, my belief on this whole thing is not that they're going to try and get rich off of this but their point is to try and shut down a gun manufacturer it's been in business for over a hundred years in this nation trying to shut them down. Once this is allowed to happen, it's kind of like the domino effect. When one falls, people will start going after the next, and the next, and the next. And before long, all these major gun manufacturers are out of business. Or they're doing like... Uh, Springfield Army recently stated they weren't going to make their military rifles available to the public anymore. All because, you know, liberalism states that nobody needs an AR-15. It's none of their business what I need. If I choose to own an AR-15, that is my business and nobody else's. Or the draconian laws of California gun owners have to go through. You know? Sir, your pistol can't have no more than six glockazine bullets and four 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 auto bullets and 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 your your fully your fully automatic semi-automatic rifle uh, can only have ten rounds, sir. My fully what? Semi what? And you know. And when we when you pull the trigger on this rifle, it continues to shoot. No, it doesn't. When I pull the trigger on this rifle, I have to release the trigger and reset it. And I have to squeeze the trigger again. What you're describing, sir, is a machine gun, which is illegal for me to own, unless I have the appropriate federal firearms license, which I don't. So therefore, I do not have a machine gun. This is the deception that is being perpetrated in the mainstream media about firearms, folks. But it's a two attack front. One, a ploy to get our guns away from us. And two, suppression of free speech so that the socialist communist doctrine of the left can come forward. Because once these things start being allowed to happen, common sense goes right out the window. And again, like I said, let's go sue car manufacturers because drunk drivers. Well, you could have put a device in the car that detects alcohol in their breath 
so that when you crank your car, it shut off. Okay, let's hold car manufacturers accountable for an alcoholic's problem. Let's do that, okay? Oh, wait a minute, why don't we sue alcohol manufacturers? I'm sure Jack Daniels and Jim Beam and J.W. Dant and Johnny Walker and all those labels and uh, Crown Royal, I'm sure they'd all love to go to court. And I'm not, I'm not saying to sue them for people get, get addicted to alcohol and become alcoholic. I'm saying we need to sue them because, because of the number of DUIs that take place every year. It's their fault that these people get behind vehicles drunk. That is the logic of my discussion this morning, folks. We have got to a point in time in our nation now that personal accountability is thrown outside and just, no, it's not little Johnny's fault that he's an idiot. It's not little Johnny's fault that, that he's mean. I beg to differ. To some extent, it is his. And he needs to be held accountable. But anywho, anyhow, anyway, folks, that is... Uh, my rant and rave for this Wednesday morning. I hope everybody's doing well. If you're in an area where it's below freezing, stay warm today, my friends. Um, you ain't got to get out in the cold, don't. But if you do, bundle up, stay warm, dress in layers so you can downgrade and upgrade throughout the day as needed. Stay safe. So with that in mind, folks, I'm going to cut this one to an end today. Uh, charities I'd ask you to support. Tunnelsandtowers.org, pin up for vets, valid for veterans, and folds of honor. Uh, vendors I'd ask you to just help out. Money Quit Pond, Rafer Road, Federal, North Carolina. Roberts Custom Woodwork, Unsung Patriot. They've all got great products. Go check them out. Get something from them. They'd love it. I'd love it if you do. we we'll do so. Um, if you want to help me out, go to my Amazon and get a couple of my books or my t-shirt site and get some of my t-shirts, either or, both, you know, get them for Christmas presents. But, uh, all the links for this stuff down below in the description. So, if you can, help out anywhere you can. God bless, take care, and until tomorrow, sell the soldier out.